friends, today we got a fun tutorial using the ruler and the align tool. So let's get cracking. We're going to start on the Facebook Tinkercad Worldwide User Group. A user, Mike, asked, hey, how do I get this circle to be at the middle of this rectangle? When you hit a line, it's easy to center it this way, but it only goes top. It doesn't go to the middle of the circle. Friends, I've got a trick. Let me show you. First, basic skill, I clicked up here and I changed it to say ruler versus a line. Now we've got a simple cylinder and a cube. If you've never seen this, you just drag them out. You can adjust the handles or type the numbers. Whichever you prefer is fine. With a cylinder, notice the sides come in with 20 and it's not very smooth. You can max that out to 64 to make it look nicer. Now the main skill the user used was a line. The letter L, or you can click this button right here, Click on one shape to make it the boss and bingo that centers. From the corner here, you can look at it and see your options are the top, the middle, or the bottom, which does not help the user because they wanted that exactly halfway. Now they used the arrows and nudged it so that it was fine, but they wanted perfect. Friends, time for the superpower. First, we're going to do Control-D to give us a second copy. Shift-Nudge to move it across. Notice if you just do the arrows, it's one millimeter. Shift-Nudge is 10 times faster. I'm going to just move this away, and our new tool is going to be the ruler tool, which is also the letter R. I'm going to set it on a corner, and then I'm going to click on the shape. Notice right now it says Use Midpoint. So currently it's working from the end point of this shape. It says negative 32 at the moment. If I switch this to zero, notice it moves all the way to that edge. If we click the circle, it switches to a different location. I liked that top corner, so I'm going to go back to it. Notice the blue is the measurement of the shape, 20 by 35. The negative 37 is the distance from the point. So if I type negative 35 right here, it is at the zero, zero corner. It's that slick. If I switch to the other shape and I change this distance to zero, notice it does the same thing as a line. It's at the edge, just like it was a minute ago. If I change this to zero, this is unique. It is at the top of that edge. So to get it to the midpoint the user wanted, we simply click here and we switch to the midpoint measurement. Now when I click on this shape, instead of 10.5, I simply want it to be zero. I'm also going to change the midpoint to zero. I don't even have to guess. And I can click on our red shape and I want it to be zero as well. Just like that, it is totally aligned. Notice this negative 17 and a half moves this halfway down. I'll show you real quick. If we had made that zero, then it's centered. So we did have to do the calculation of negative 35, or we could have also switched to endpoint and then changed this to zero to snap it in place. Notice that's backwards. Are you ready for this? One click, two clicks, and now change this to zero and it's back the way you wanted. So rotating the ruler is super handy. I'm going to click on the X to get rid of the ruler. I do also want to show you this quick. I saw a user asking how you save friends. Tinkercad saving is by simply returning to the dashboard. Your project is instantly saved to the cloud. Of course, to get back into it, you simply do tinker this. Friends, there you have it. Slick steps for the ruler tool or the align tool. Of course, once again, huge shout out to Mike for the question. And I hope you all have a glorious day and keep tinkering. Friends, as I wrap up, I do want to say thanks to all my supporters on Patreon. I also want to remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. I've got a page dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of amazing categories. Below that, you'll find the day one favorites, the useful starters, and the Tinkercad essentials. If you scroll down just a little bit further, you will find my course, Tinkercad in 20 days. It is hosted on cadclass.org. If you check out this video right here, it tells you all about it. I do also want to highlight there is a sweet coupon code HL25Tinkercad. It'll get you 25% off any of the amazing courses at cadclass.org. You can visit the site by clicking this link right here. 
I do also want to highlight the sweet built-in messaging tool. Friends, you can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. If you look at the very top of the page, you'll also find the link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, there are a boatload of members, and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.